What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and in today's video we'll be taking a look at this brand new $98,000 2023 GMC Yukon Denali Ultimate. So let's get into it. All right, so today we're talking Denali Ultimate, and I am super excited because I've been waiting forever for one of these to come in. It's the first one that I have laid my eyes on. It arrived on Friday. The customer will be picking it up on Tuesday. It's Labor Day weekend, so here I am on Sunday on my day off to make sure that you guys get a chance to see this thing as well. Now, if you're new here and you've never watched one of my uh, video tours of any vehicles, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick walk around the exterior of the vehicle, show you some of the highlighted details there, and then once we're done, uh, we'll go over the interior as well, of course. So first things first, Here's a quick look at our key fob. You can see we've got our lock, our unlock, remote start, lift and lower the lift gate, panic button, and then we've got the GMC logo on the back as well. Now, first thing that stands out to me, we've got a blacked out Denali grill. Gorgeous GMC, you guys should have been giving us blacked out grills forever ago, because I love the look. Just a much classier look than that chrome, in my opinion. Uh, you guys can let me know if you agree with me in the comments below. In addition to the blacked out grill, we've got the blacked out GMC logo. We've also got the Vader chrome, which is exclusive to the Ultimate around the grill. We've also got some Vader chrome down low on the lower valence and around the uh, fog light bezels. You also see we've got our front parking sensors and we've got the LED signature blade headlights that are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm always a big fan of the little attention to detail stuff. I always like to point out, you know, we've got like the GMC logo there. We've got some uh, cross etching design kind of in the headlight as well. Really, really nice look. And I'm just gonna back up one more time to give you all a look at the front end because uh, for me, it's my favorite part. Underneath the hood, of course, you get the 6.2 liter V8, 420 horsepower shoes. She's got plenty, plenty of pep. And as we start to walk around the side, you're gonna get a first look at the new 22 inch Denali Ultimate wheels. Now these have been, some people love them, some people aren't a huge fan. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I think they look great. 22s, they're wrapped in 275 wide Bridgestone Alenza tires. This thing drives like an absolute dream. I cannot express that enough. If you get a chance to test drive one of these, I know it's almost impossible to find one on the lot. Uh, definitely take one for a ride because they are, I mean, I can't even, drives like butter. It's, they're incredible. I'm gonna step back and give you guys a side profile of it. If I can get back here far enough without the sun just killing us. There we go. So there's your side profile. Right now, now this has the adaptive air suspension, so it's adjustable. I have it in the default mode, so this is basically like normal ride height, uh, but you can lower it, you can increase the height, whatever you, know, whatever you want to do. The lowering, it looks really good, but that's just for getting in and out of the vehicle. So uh, if you're like me and you like that lowered look, uh, it, unfortunately it can't stay there, but that's, there's a reason why. You don't want to be clipping the front end off of uh, speed bumps and things like that. Now you do have power steps. I'm gonna open the door really quickly so you guys can take a look at how those work. You can see they, they're really close to the body. Open the door, there's your power step, close the door. Right up tight, close to the body. You've got your mirrors with integrated signals. You'll also see you've got another camera here for the HD surround vision camera system. You get the chrome surrounding the windows. Interesting that they didn't decide to go Vader chrome uh, around the windows, not really sure why. That, it seems like that would have been something they would have wanted to do, but you know, who knows? Someone that makes a lot more money than me uh, decided to go with the chrome. As we go around the back, you can see we've got our quad exit exhaust. You've got your Yukon logo on the lower left, Denali on the lower right. You do have that Vader chrome section uh, right here in the middle with the blacked out GMC logo. Rear parking sensors, of course, trailer tow package is all hidden away right underneath that uh, little compartment there. LED rear, rear tail lights. You do have a rear wiper and it's kind of tucked away right under here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop her open. Now this is an XL, so you have enough storage back here to uh, stuff an extra child, uh, a dog crate, luggage, whatever the case may be. And if for some reason you need even more, you can always just fold down the rear seats using the buttons back here and that gives you even more space. And it probably doesn't show on video just how much space it is, uh, but believe me when I tell you that it is an impressive amount of space. And of course, I'm just pushing that button to lift the seat back up nice and easy. Also back here, uh, you do have a power outlet. So maybe you're at the kid's soccer game or a sporting event or whatever the case may be, uh, you can plug in back here and be able to run some power to whatever it is that you need, which is just super, super convenient, at least in my opinion. 
And I'm just gonna give that one tap. This does have the uh, the foot activated lift gate as well. I just, um, it's such a habit on me just doing it the normal way that I never, I never do it. So uh, if that's something that you're into, you have your hands full, uh, you can kick underneath the rear bumper and open it up. But what we're gonna do now is look inside. But before we get right inside, I just wanna put the window sticker up on the screen really quickly right now. Remember that I'm recording this in 4K, so if you're watching this on mobile or a computer, you should be able to screenshot it right now, save the window sticker, look at it later if you want, zoom in, look at every option, feature, etc. cetera. Uh, and I'm gonna take it off the screen in three, two, one. All right, and now let's check out the interior of the 2023 Denali Ultimate because it's absolutely beautiful in here. Uh, and I think a lot of you guys are gonna love this. So first thing I'm gonna point out because it's just you kind of just right there you know we've got two 12.6 inch uh color touch displays on the back of each headrest they work independently they have a ton of functionality i'm actually gonna make another video going over uh, all the functionality of these things because there's just a ton to talk about it'd be a 10 minute video on its own uh, but i will point out one of my favorite little features is you can go to the maps let's say i'm hungry i want some mcdonald's i type in mcdonald's i can hit send and it'll actually send the directions to the navigation system up front and the driver can accept it and off we go without the driver having to search for the food place. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, now we do have Alpine Umber is what they call the interior in here. It is exclusive to the Denali Ultimate. It is a full grain brown leather. We've got the white piping, white contrast stitching. We've also got cross stitching here. And then we've got this topographical map embossed into the seat as well. I think it looks really, really nice. I am a huge fan. I know some people uh, from what I've read aren't that big a fan of it, I love it. I think it adds just a little something extra as opposed to the standard black interiors with kind of nothing going on that we're really used to, if we're honest, in most GM vehicles. I think this adds a whole different level of luxury, especially when we're talking to Nolly. Uh, also in the back, you can see you've got our HVAC controls. You can see we've got two USB-C ports, two HDMI ports, heated captain's chairs back here, and then we've got uh, a power outlet as well. Once again, these work independently with the screens, uh, so you're not gonna have people fighting over what to watch. They can watch whatever they want on the left, they can watch whatever they want on the right. Uh, definitely gonna help keep the kids quiet, which I know is probably very important to all you parents out there. You also see on the back, we do have the pockets on the back of both seats with the white contrast stitching, and once again, more of that to uh, topographical map embossed into the leather. Just really, really nice look. Now this does have the Bose uh, premium audio system. It's actually like their performance series. You can see you've got that aluminum speaker grill there. You've got, once again, more full grain brown leather, cross stitching. We've got aluminum. We've got real wood, much higher materials in the Ultimate. Just a better quality overall, at least from my experience. Uh, I've been at a GMC store for 10 years. This is leaps and bounds uh, better than any Denali I've ever sat in, that's for sure. Uh, if you're wondering, this is actually another speaker here. There's a tweeter. And then uh, looking up top, I will open this up so you can see it, but you do have that big panoramic roof. And then of course you've got LED interior lighting as well. So that, uh, nothing really to talk about too much in the third row. Uh, it's just a third row. You guys kind of business as usual there. I don't think there's anything else I'm missing. Maybe I am. If you guys are Ultimate fans and you've been researching this thing and I missed something in the back, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'm just gonna back up, just give you guys another quick look at it. Cause you can just, it's a hundred thousand dollar vehicle pretty much. Uh, you can never kind of see too many angles of it, especially if you're trying to make a purchasing decision. And I'm gonna step real back real quick one more time. Let's see if I can fit the whole truck in there. All right, she's a beaut. All right, let's check out the driver's seat, which is probably what most of you have been waiting for. All right, let's start with our door. So pretty much business as usual, same as the back. Brown full grain leather. We've got the cross stitching aluminum. We've got real wood. We've got that big Bose performance series aluminum speaker grill. We've got Denali right there on the door sill. We've got these Denali mats with aluminum, uh, like these aluminum edges. I kind of like that. Also got that brown Alpine Umber leather interior, beautiful seats. Only something a little different that the back seat doesn't get. We have performance series speakers in the headrest. Now I haven't had a chance to actually listen to them yet. I'm definitely gonna do that once I'm done filming this video. I figure I can't really demonstrate it in the video, uh, but definitely something that I'm interested to try out for myself. And if you can get your hands on one of these, you'll probably wanna try it too. We've got the Denali Ultimate uh, badging right here with the Denali location. So that's the longitude and latitude. Topographical map, perforated leather here. Of course, they're heated and cooled. You've got your white piping, the contrast stitching, just gorgeous seats. Your power seat controls also have aluminum surround. Once again, we're just trying to increase that 
quality, that premium material feel. Give you a quick look at the roof and then let's jump inside. Now I am going to kind of try and go through this quickly, but I also want to make sure that I highlight everything as well. Uh, so if there's anything that I missed or you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please don't hesitate to leave a, a comment down below and I will try and address it as best as I can. So starting on the left, we've got our memory seat controls, we've got our power windows, power mirror controls, we've got our power locks. Going up here on the dashboard, lots to talk about here. We've got our power emergency brake, our 360 camera, we've got our parking sensors, auto start and stop, lane departure warning, we've got our 15 inch multicolor heads up display controls here. We've got our park assist, so to get the vehicle to park itself for you. Hill descent control, traction control. We've got our four wheel drive controls. We've got our mode selector here. This button is for our adaptive air suspension. We can increase or decrease the brightness of our gauge cluster. And then we've got our headlights and fog lights controls, and then our trailer brake controller. Uh, real quickly on the adaptive air, you can see I tap this button. It gives me my different ride heights. Let me tap it again. So let's say I needed to go up and go over a some obstacle in the road. You're going to see this icon over there on the right is flashing, letting me know that it's lifting the vehicle up. And I can actually feel it raising the vehicle up now. I'm going to hit it again, and I'm going to drop down to entry exit ground clearance. That's what I was talking about where it gets really low to the ground. I'll show you that once we get out because it looks really cool having the, uh, the Denali so low. Now, if you don't press that button, the other mode switch will just take you through whether you're in tow haul, off-road, sport, uh, or normal driving mode. We'll leave it in sport just for fun, not that it's gonna do anything. Our heads up display, I know it's kind of tough to see, but I'll show you guys really quickly. You can see it flash in there, 15 inch heads up display. The navigation system is probably the coolest feature to have, and it's not actually blinking. Uh, it's just the way that the camera picks it up. So don't think anything's broken, it, it's working just fine. Jumping up onto the steering wheel, you can see we've got our heated steering wheel. We've got our adaptive cruise control, our forward collision alert, our Denali logo right there, dead center. And then over on the right, we've got our hands-free dialing. And then this little guy right here kind of goes through, you can see I'm scrolling through the different information there on the gauge cluster. Now this gauge cluster is fully customizable. If you went all the way over here to the right, you can see you have different display layouts. You can change it to whatever you want. Let's say I wanted a compass over here on the right instead, or I want a time and temp. You can set that. Lots of cool stuff here. Uh, I actually made a whole video on how to customize that. I'll leave that in, in a link uh, right here if you, you want to check that out. Go through the different options and what my favorite layout is. Of course, you can do navigation here, your audio controls and, and your normal driver information, your range, things like that. Uh, that's about all I have to talk about with that. Fully digital. It's kind of nice to see finally. Uh, up high, we have our hazards. And then over here, we have our full color touch display. And let's just go here. We'll stay in demo mode. Powered by Google now. You have Apple CarPlay, you have Android Auto. Um, you have 4G LTE Wi-Fi built in. You can, of course, control your rear media, your My GMC. You've got your climate control and everything else that you can set. I am very glad uh, that my climate control, I don't just have to set with the touch screen. For some reason, things like climate control, I'm really still a huge fan of being able to just turn a knob. Maybe that's just me. I'm a super tech guy, so it's kind of funny that that's the way I think, but you know, maybe, uh, maybe you guys agree, maybe you don't. I'm gonna throw this thing in reverse really quickly. So you can see we've got two different cameras that we're looking at. We've got a 360 view overhead, and then we're looking at the back, and we can change this to different uh, icons there. So now it'll go with where I turn the wheel. Whatever the orange dot is, that's the direction you're looking. So you can see we're looking at the rear there, looking at the front now, back to the rear, all a ton of different camera angles. Uh, my favorites are probably the curb hunters. So if you're gonna drive this thing in the city, you need to pull up tight to a curb. It's nice to not to curb. Your beautiful 22 inch ultimate wheels. So make sure you utilize this camera so that you can hug this up tight close to the curb and uh, not scratch them all up. So definitely uh, something to think about there. Throw this bad boy back in park, get out of there. And underneath, we've got our typical power, uh, turn the volume up and down, select. We've got our HVAC controls, heated seats, ventilated seats, uh, rear climate control system here. Real wood, slide that open. It reveals our wireless charging dock, USB-C, USB port, power outlet, that reveals some cup holders. We've got a huge, beautiful console, and this is the power sliding. So if I slide this thing all the way back, you will actually see I got a small little secret storage compartment there as well. So if you have some something that you want to hide uh, from the kiddos, maybe, uh, you can definitely slide that in, hide that, and then just slide this back up. The cool thing about the power sliding console, at least in my opinion, is it brings these cup holders back 
way back here. So if the people sitting in the captain's chairs in the back need a, a more convenient cup holder up front, they can do that. Uh, and that works, just slide that on back. Just gonna give you a look at your passenger seat. Beautiful interior. God, I am a huge fan of this thing. Of course, you've got your glove box over here on the right. More materials to look at. This actually, I don't even know what to call this, but it, it has some texture to it. It's almost, it's not like a brushed aluminum. I don't even know how to describe it. It almost feels dremeled, I guess would be the best way to describe it. Uh, but just once again, more quality materials, real wood, real wood grain leather, uh, real aluminum. No, nothing fake in here anymore. Up top, we have our LED interior lighting. We have our big, in fact, let's open this up. One touch, open up the big panoramic roof. While that's opening, I'm sure you noticed your HD surround vision rear mirror. So this is what you used to look like, right? When you were looking through the back, try and look through there. And now we look at this, which is just exponentially better. And of course you can adjust that. You can adjust the brightness. You can adjust the zoom, however you like it to be, wherever you want it to look, uh, the choice is yours. Me personally, I like it as wide as I can. Uh, it just gives me a better field of view. And that's, you know, what's more important than having a better field of view. Programmable garage door openers. You have your OnStar buttons overhead, all your interior lighting overhead. Um, there's a look. You can see your big panoramic roof, and I will hop out at the end and give you guys another quick look at everything in here because I just, it's just such a gorgeous vehicle. Uh, I know I ran through the interior kind of quickly. I may have missed something. I am sweating in here. It is hot. I can't have the AC on or else you guys wouldn't be able to hear me. Uh, but if I did miss something or you think I missed something, uh, please let me know. Um, you know, I, it, it, it does happen from time to time. I am not perfect. Uh, but here's another quick look at your interior. Give you another shot in the back. Once again, if you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to ask. I am gonna shut this real quick and then back up so you can see. I do believe I have this on exit mode. Let me just verify. No, I don't. There we go. Exit mode, I'm gonna shut her down. I'm going to back out and it should air down. Yep, you can hear it airing down. Let me know what you guys think. Is this the most beautiful vehicle that GMC offers right now? I mean, I am a truck fan by, by and large, a truck fan, but whew, I love this thing. Uh, but that's all I have for you guys today. Short, sweet, to the point. Hopefully I touched everything that you wanted to see. I highlighted the features that you wanted to know about. Once again, I know I've repeated this a hundred times. Leave a comment down below if there's something that I didn't talk about that you want to know about. As always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you had an awesome Labor Day weekend. Whew. If you could do me a huge favor, if you made it this far in the video, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with a friend. Be sure to check out my friends over at gmpartsdepartment.com for all your GM OEM parts needs. And I will see you all in the very next video. Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Take care.